Welcome to The Randy Show. I am the James Randy Educational Foundation's Outreach Coordinator, Brian Thompson, and with me, as always, is James Randy. Looking great in a pair of headphones. Yeah, I, I have to apologize for the headphones, uh, but my speaker system went out. I, I don't know. These technical things are well beyond me. If I look on the floor and around the back of some of this stuff here, I'll probably find a plug sitting there looking abandoned, and I'll plug it back in. But right now I'm stuck with headphones. Yeah, oh, well, they suit you pretty well, I think. So let's talk about the amazing meeting which just finished. So did you ever think when these amazing meetings started out that they would get to be as as big and exciting and chock full of content as they are now? Well, I, I guess I always did hope. But I think next year we we may have to build our own casino to accommodate the crowd. <laughs> Because the, the hotel is saturated with uh, with tamers. I mean, it's just incredible. Uh, huge crowds. When I walk out on that stage and sit down there, I just give a gulp. And I, I'm used to large crowds. I've spoken to crowds of literally millions on uh, on TV, for example, as we did when we were in Italy, as you may remember. But uh, when you see them all right there living and breathing right in front of you, and they can throw things, remember that. But I didn't get anything thrown, not this year or any other year, I must add. Uh, it, it was it was really a wonderful reaction, and I got to press the flesh with so many people and got lots of hugs, too. So what was the first the first few amazing meetings? What were they like uh, as compared uh, to now? Well, I think the first one we had, what, 83 people or something? <laughs> I, I've forgotten what it was, but it was uh, held at a local hotel right here in Fort Lauderdale. And uh, we had a bit of an interruption. It was the coming down of the Challenger spacecraft. Hal Bidlack was there at the time, who was with the Air Force, as we know, and uh, he had to announce that to a crowd. It was a real bummer, to say the least, to have to face that the, uh, the fact that the Challenger had gone down with all aboard. Uh, that was a real damper on the whole thing. But even that, that small group uh, there was very successful. We moved on and we eventually came to Las Vegas. The fact that we get such an enthusiastic crowd there and that they have ways of entertaining themselves when they're not on, so to speak, and uh, our guests, our, our guest speakers and uh, the people who head up the various discussions and such uh, for TAM are very, very pleased to be there as well. The staff does treat us very well. We're always well treated. Yeah, it, there is a lot to do in Vegas. If somebody, for some reason, I don't know why they would want to pull themselves away from TAM, because it kind of goes from morning to, to night every single day. But, um, but yeah, this year it was, a, it was particularly kind of unpleasant outside. I don't know if you recall, but I think it was, I checked the weather report, I think it was 6 million degrees Fahrenheit. It's something late. Mm -hmm. I, I think I think only a couple of million. You're exaggerating, but well, sorry, I, I tend to exaggerate sometimes. But, That's very true. Very but it's true. a good thing that nobody has to leave the hotel. Yeah, very true. Yeah. What are we looking forward to for next year's amazing meeting? What would you like to see that maybe we haven't seen before? I think it's time to get Dawkins back. He always has new things to tell us. Of course, I, I had the feeling, you know. I guess it was in 2011. I had the feeling I was sitting on the uh, on the platform at the opening ceremonies, and right beside me was Richard Dawkins. You don't get to sit alone on a stage with one of your gods, and I don't have any gods, but he comes very, very close. Richard is is something else. He's never going to be Sir Richard because of his religious uh, uh, leanings, let's say. But uh, to me, he is Sir Richard already, and uh, I, I'm, I'm very, uh, very much attached to Richard in so many ways. I've stayed at his home out in Oxford in England, and uh, well, that's something I can't invite you to. I'm sorry. So the, thanks, Randy, and uh, we'll see you next year at the amazing meeting and uh, lots of places in between. Oh yes, I'll be I'll be busier than ever. Uh, I I go like a Go like a, one of those. Uh, what's what's the uh, energizer? Energizer bunny. I think I'm the energizer bunny 
uh, officially for Tam, and uh, I love every minute of it. I get back and sleep for about two days, I think, solid. But it's worth it, and meeting all those fine folks and, and hearing number as many of talk, the talks I could possibly hear. And just very stimulating. I enjoyed every bit of it. The Randy Show is a production of the James Randy Educational Foundation. To learn more about how we promote science and critical thinking, go to randy.org.